This is a KGUN 9 Now news update. Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Tucson police are looking into what led up to a deadly motorcycle crash in Midtown. Officers say it happened on 1st near Grant around 9 last night. We know one man died, but right now we don't know his name. Another COVID-19 vaccine center is opening today. It will be a drive through setup at the Kino Sports Complex. The site will prioritize people 75 and older, education and child care providers, and those who work in protective services like police officers and firefighters. This the site will be open seven days a week, weekdays from 8 till 5, Saturday from 8 till 4, and Sunday from 8 till 1. Keep in mind, appointments are required. And the Pima County Health Department has a new number to help you register for the vaccine. That number is right here on your screen, 520-222-0119. You can also register online. There's a new problem at vaccination sites that we're seeing, lack of translators. Arizona leaders say it's a hurdle many Spanish speakers are facing right now. Our sister station in Phoenix reports there were only two interpreters helping at Maricopa County State Farm Stadium vaccination site. Maricopa County says it will be implementing more and more options to serve all members of the community. Despite case numbers that are showing signs of a potential downward trend, Arizona still leads the world in average new confirmed COVID-19 cases per capita. John Hopkins University reports our state had an average of 134 newly confirmed cases over the past seven days. That is a new world record. The state has been the top hotspot in the world at least three times now. Let's take a look at your forecast now. One more nice day before some unsettled weather arrives. Highs will be in the mid to upper 70s again today. Breezy winds, a chance for valley rain and mountain snow, and cooler air will move in Tuesday and continue off and on throughout the weekend.